Paris climate talks are running out of time and raising the question, what happens if they fail? It's hard to get 200 countries to agree on anything, especially when they run the gamut from richest to poorest. So instead, before the talks even started, countries submitted individual goals for cutting carbon emissions. Intended nationally determined contributions, which is just a fancy way of saying the targets of where we want to get to. Their goals were meant to lay the groundwork for a deal which would focus on ensuring countries stuck to the plans and collectively prevented a two degree Celsius warming over the pre-industrial average. And those two parts of the deal have also been the main sticking points. Some countries are calling for a more ambitious 1.5 degree Celsius goal and others can't agree on how to hold countries accountable without a legally binding deal. Without a deal, even the threat of peer pressure for countries not meeting their goals disappears. But more importantly, the $100 billion in annual assistance to developing countries that's part of the deal could fall by the wayside. Without a deal, there's no framework for where that money's going to come from or how it'll be distributed. Failure in Paris would be the biggest blow to morale. Officials hoped a Paris deal could be a starting point for global cooperation on climate change. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.